Across the country in Greenbelt, Maryland, scientists at the Goddard Space Flight Center are also busy analyzing lunar samples. Dr. Isidore Adler tells what his group has found so far. There is a much higher concentration of some minerals. For example, there is a mineral called ilmenite, which is an iron titanium oxide, which appears to be unusually high in concentration in these rocks. And it seems to indicate, perhaps, that at some time or other, the moon was exposed, at least these surface materials, to some rather severe heating. So these uh, frozen samples were actually collected from a region on the moon that was in shadow from the sun. So it was basically a large boulder. In the near future, we're going back to the moon and hopefully going to the polar regions of the moon, where some of these regions are in permanent shadow. These particular samples are really great analogs for what we might expect to see in the polar regions when we go back.